The March calendar isn't out yet, but we do have a spotlight event, my favorite kind of event, this weekend. Let's get into it. I'm Professor Vokas, and this is Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Hello, Professor. I didn't see you there. Before we begin, as you saw in the thumbnail, it is the 200th episode of Professor Vokas. So a little bit crazy. I didn't think uh, back then when I was making them, I really wasn't thinking that I would hit 200. I would say this quickly. I definitely have had more videos up than I thought I would put up. Anyway, thank you to those of you that have subscribed, liked, commented on videos. Some of you, I see your comments all the time. I do read them, by the way. Usually it's it's a little bit after, but I do see that and it really does keep me going and keep me enthused to make more episodes. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you have watched my videos, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always unsubscribe if you don't like the content at any point. On to the event. It will be an emergency found event. There'll be no tasks during this event, so it will be kind of be free-flowing. You just get what you want out of it. It's going to go from March 5th to March 8th. That's Friday to Monday, kind of a normal weekend uh, time frame for events, 11 a.m. Pacific time to 11 a.m. Pacific time. In addition to the emergency fandibles that we will talk about in just a little bit, Dawdle Draft will have its brew time reduced by 50% by using master notes. And the Dawdle Draft for newer players, that's the um, potion you're going to use so that fandibles don't depart from you. And with so many emergency fandibles, you might want to use more of these just to give yourself more chances to actually return them without having them depart on you. In addition, butterscotch, sapophorus bean, and valerian root will also be appearing more on the ground. Those are the ingredients for a dawdle draft. Even though there won't be any reduced brew time for tonic for trace detection or anything involving their ingredients, tonic for trace detection should produce more of all the emergency fandibles that I'm about to talk about for this event. There are a decent number of emergency fandibles they're going to be offering, so let's go through all of them, starting at the Ministry of Magic. Uh, ministry Atrium 2, you can see it right here. It's going to be um, Ministry Employee Newt Scamander. So there's another Newt Scamander, more of the Magic Zoology version. This is Ministry Employee Newt Scamander. So this Emergency Foundable will be appearing more. So definitely come check out this page. And really for any of the Emergency Foundables I'm about to go, as I list them all, you probably want to prioritize, just look at which one you really need to be looking out for. So you can be looking for that red beam symbol. Although really there's no reason to not to try to return them all. But we'll talk about why you want to maybe focus in on one or two. Next up in Care of Magical Creatures is Rubius Hagrid on the very first page. This is one of the first things you ever did when they're teaching you the game. They're, they're giving you a Hagrid. So anyway, Hagrid, emergency level, 10 fragments to place him. Next up over at Dark Arts um, at the Fallen Ministry Atrium. Down at the bottom there is just Tom Riddle. I actually, what is this? I have this page actually at silver. So for me, I'm six out of seven right now. So it'll be nice I'll be able to place his image again if I want. Professor McGonagall is up next at the Hogwarts page, not Legends of Hogwarts, but Hogwarts on the moving staircases. She's right in the middle. I think I'm 9 out of 10. Yeah, 9 out of 10. Anyway, another emergency foundable that will be available. Moving over to Legends of Hogwarts, if you go down to the chess chamber page, um, Albus Dumbledore, I'll click on him real quick. Again, another emergency level. I don't see a lot of him actually, although I do have him green start on this page. Um, I think from a previous event where he appeared and I just ended up getting a ton of him. So anyway, good opportunity to grab him if you don't see him a lot. I mentioned the other Newt Scamander, and he is available during this, but I wasn't there yet. So under Magizoology, if you go to New York City Street, so Fantastic Beast 1, you can see Newt Scamander, he will be available. This is one I actually do see even outside of events a little bit, but you may not. So again, he'll be available. Under the Triwizard tab in Magical Games and Sports is Quidditch Captain Harry Potter. He will be available. He is one I do not see a lot outside of events. And even though I haven't green start on this page, it is because of the last event event that I think he was appearing, I just end up again getting as much. It's really these events is when I end up really racking up on these guys, and you guys should too. The next one's interesting because we actually just saw this recently in a different event, but Room of Requirement 3, that page that a lot of stuff was based around just recently under Mysterious Artifacts, um, Hermione's Time Turner. You can see I'm uh, green starred on it, and actually while we're here, you can actually see um, Sirius's flying motorcycle. I actually am ready to place this image, um, so we're going to go ahead and place that. The Cursed Opal 
purple necklace. Once I'm able to place that, I'm actually gonna get this page to gold, which I will be trying to do before this weekend because it's just some port keys I need to walk from the previous event to get all of those cursed opal necklace uh, fragments to be able to rank this up. And then I'll show it should be on gold and be able to place that image on gold will be one of my goals, the time turner. Whew, that gave me a ton of rank ups actually. So anyway, Hermione's time turner on this page will also be available. Over at Wonders of the Wizarding World, um, at Hogwarts Gate, the Whomping Willow is also gonna be available. This has been available um, in other events. So I've actually placed this image, Green Star, a ton of times. It's those Fortress Foundables is why I haven't uh, actually put this page any further than bronze. But anyway, Whomping Willow will be available. So if it's something you are missing, be on the lookout for it. And the last two emergency foundables that'll be available for this event are both going to be in Oddities. The first one is in Oddities 2. It is the Horned Serpent. I, it's interesting because I do see a lot of these. If you've watched videos of mine, you maybe have seen me get these a lot. And I've seen other people report from other parts of the world or just other areas that said they just never see them. So it is interesting to see how certain things spawn in certain areas more, not just the dragons that of course are completely restricted to regions, but that even certain things like centaurs is another thing I see all the time and other people say they never see them in their area. Horn serpents will be available though. And then all the way down on Oddities 5, the three-headed dog, AKA Fluffy. Fluffy was a specific three-headed dog. This is just generic. This is a three-headed dog. Anyway, three-headed dog will be available. Again, I have this page on gold, which is fantastic um, because when I place that image, I do get um, so many rank ups, which get me trunks, which gets me chances for trace charm recharges, um, red spell books. Uh, again, because I've unlocked those in the SOS tree. So for those of you like me that don't have all your pages prestige this will be a great event to maybe get some of those foundables that just don't appear as much but as i said not only should you return all of them it's going to be worth your while to return them for a couple reasons which we'll talk about but i guess more importantly is maybe figure out which pages you need more fragments for to actually prestige because your trace charm is kind of going to be your best friend for this event but there's going to be so many things you want to put it on you might you might want to prioritize so for me the pages i'm looking to prestige i really do want to get those fragments. I want to make sure I build up those fragments. So I'll be putting my trace charm on things that I need more fragments of. Now, when you trace charm a, an emergency foundable, it's going to produce some other stuff, of course. It may produce another one of itself, like as an actual production. Once you actually return the original foundable you put the trace charm on, it's going to clone itself. So you're going to get two fragments from the foundable you put the trace charm on, and then it should clone itself, and you should get two more for four kind of at a minimum. Now, if it happens to produce another one of itself, that's great because that's another two fragments and I've had that happen before. Keep in mind, if you are using a tonic for trace detection and that produces a one of these emergency level foundables, which are supposed to be increased, if you place the trace charm on that, it is not gonna clone itself. So when you return that, you're gonna get a couple of fragments, but then what it produces, you'll get fragments, but it's after you return the original, it's not going to make another one of itself. That's just the way tonic for trace detection, foundables, and trace charms work. So for me, especially during an event like this, if I have a tonic running, if there's a lot of foundables around, sometimes if I'm not looking closely, I, can, I think it's not a tonic for trace detection spawn, and I throw that trace charm, and then I don't get that clone. And for me, it's more worthwhile to only put the trace charm on those that are not from tonic for trace detection, because I want the clone of whatever I'm putting it on. That's why I put it on there. Again, your play style may differ. Maybe you have trace charms for days, in which case, by all means, put it on whatever you want and at least you're getting those bonus fragments. Now, for those of you that are, have all your pages on gold or maybe you just have all gold on these particular foundables, um, as well as people that have some of their pages on gold like I do for some of these foundables, the reason you might want to go toward that way in doing the trace charm to place that image multiple times is, if, especially if you're on gold, is you get a lot of rank ups and if you've unlocked those nodes in your SOS tree that get you bonuses for trunks or at least a chance for like gold gifts and things like that, then that would be a reason you might go after them instead. Or if you're at all gold, it won't matter. You place anything. For me, the biggest one for that is that three-headed dog or the horned serpent. But the three-headed dog gets me the most because I'm on gold. So me going after that three-headed dog, that would be a reason I would trace charm that is because I want to build up fragments so quickly so I can place it and I get like so many rank ups and oddities and I've specifically unlocked rewards from oddities trunks 
on the SOS tree. I'm super looking forward to this event. There's no tasks, nothing you have to do. You can just go out and play the game and you're just getting a lot better spawns available. So these spotlight events are some of my favorite events to do. Once again, thank you for celebrating 200 episodes with me. We're also getting really close to 500 subscribers, which is just a number, but it's one of those numbers that's a nice round number and it just shows where we've come from where I began. And hopefully means I'm producing videos that people are interested in watching. As always, thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys tomorrow. Knox.